In this video, we will learn how to install and run Criminal IP Volatility plugin. But before that, we need to check the necessary installation requirements before installing the plugin. You can go to Criminal IP website and click API integration. After that, you can choose Volatility and click Go to GitHub to download Volatility plugin. Volatility plugin offers two sub plugins Criminal IP IP and Criminal IP domain. The Criminal IP IP plugin identifies the malicious IP address by analyzing the network connection information contained in the memory dump file. This feature will allow you to detect malicious IP addresses rapidly. You can also use the mal IP option to filter only sensitive malicious IP addresses. On the other hand, criminal IP domain plugin determines which URLs are considered malicious. By retrieving URL information of the loaded process into the memory dump file. This plugin has a hard white option and a mal D option to display information from malicious URLs only. This plugin can help the emergency response team to quickly identify malicious IP addresses and URL information, trace the attack pattern, and optimize the response strategies. This feature will allow organizations to respond more effectively to breach incidents and protect important data and systems. After you successfully download the zip file, you can start the installation. Now you can start the installation by attaching the downloaded file of Criminal IP Volatility 3 plugins to Volatility. Use the dir command to confirm that the current directory location contains the extracted Criminal IP Volatility 3 file. Use the move command to move the Criminal IP file with the plugin to the Volatility 3 slash Volatility 3 slash framework slash plugins file. After that, you must download Alembic to configure the database. In this case, we have already downloaded Alembic so you can see it written as requirement already satisfied. Then, you need to find the alembic.ini file inside the volatility file. After that, check if the third line is blank or written in another form. Make sure that the third line is filled out with Alembic. The next step is to write sqlite db file.db in line 63 of sqlalchemy.url. This is the part that sets the path of the database. Now, we will move the practice file and db file in the criminal IP volatility 3 plugin's main file to the volatility. But before that, Please delete both practice file and db file if they already exist in volatility 3. Use the move command to move practice file and db file into volatility 3. Use the cd command to go to volatility 3 file. You can see the practice file and the db file have been successfully transferred. After that, to integrate the Alembic and database, you must upgrade the Alembic. To do so, you can use the Alembic upgrade head command like this. Since the initial setup is completed, you can insert database location and API key in the plugin. Both plugins exist in Volatility 3 Volatility 3 Framework Plugins Criminal IP. You can insert the API key at the top for both plugins. And for database location, you can insert it at the bottom part in the run function.
After setting the API key and database path, we can start using the plugin. First, you can try using the criminal IPIP plugin with the malIP option to see the result value. For example, we will use python volume.pyfmemdump.mem criminal ip criminal ipip command. In this memory dump file, you can see there are three network histories. Now, we will use the malip option to separate only the malicious content from the three network histories above. To use malip option, you can insert malip at the end of the command that you wrote the first time. With the malip option, we found one malicious IP address among the three IP addresses above. Next, we will try using the second plugin criminal IP domain. Before running this plugin, please make sure that the API key and the database location are well written. Use python volume.pyf memdump.mem criminal IP criminal IP domain command to start the plugin. With this plugin, you can see the URL and various processes that have been done in the dump memory, and all the URL information in it. In this video, we will only show you how to use one of the features of Criminal IP Domain Plugin, the MALD option. To use MALD option, you can insert MALD at the end of the command that you wrote the first time. Using MALD option in Criminal IP Domain Plugin allows you to see only the malicious or suspicious content. In this video, we have learned how to install Criminal IP Volatility 3 plugin. In the next video, we will explore how to use Criminal IP Volatility 3 plugin to conduct memory forensics in a real case.